Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercar. This is episode number 94 of season 4 and today we're going to look at the reasons I think there's going to be a new tier coming out to WWE Supercard in the next week or so. We're going to do a platinum pack. We're going to look at a new pack in the store. I'm not going to open it, but we'll go through it. I'll give you guys um, my opinion on whether I think it's worth it or not. And, uh, and that might be it for the time being. I'll bring you guys back in a second segment. I'll do a little segue and I'll bring you guys back for the finale of the uh, uh, the finale of the regular RTG. We'll see if I do heroic or not because I'm obviously short on time. But let's have a look at this pack real quick, guys. 8,250 credits. It's called the t the Titanic Titan, sorry. Uh, one male, Titan to WrestleMania 34. One female, Titan to WrestleMania 34. Two supports, two enhancements, and four superstars, WrestleMania 33 to Monster. So, for 8,000 credits, which, um, is let okay, so this is 5,000. Okay, so for 3,000 more credits, you could go ahead and get yourself this one. And this pack only gives you one male Titan to WrestleMania and one support and two superstar, one enhancement. So you're getting an extra two WrestleMania 33s to Monster. Um, and of course, you're getting that, that very important female, um, which for 3,000 more for 3,000 more credits look if you guys are not in the top tier and you're just like you know you want to spend a bit of money you want to you want to be and you know you want to be at the top level of this game and you you're serious about playing this game as a full-time game or whatever um, if you guys know what I mean we all know how much time this game requires then this pack absolutely is a pack for you um, this one pack it, like if you're Titan tier if you're 34 tier considering the as I, I think there'll be a new tier soon. This is not. It's not like. It's not something you need. It's not the female. If, if, if that's if if the female Titan to WrestleMania is the reason you're buying this, it's not worth it because you might get yourself a Titan. You might get yourself a Titan for this a single something you already have or or just a Titan. So I would say if you're anywhere from like between Beast and Monster lower. Um, I would say if you can afford it and you want to put a little bit of money into this game, this pack isn't bad um, Just because of how much you're getting you're getting and the you're getting the support which will definitely help you You're getting that female you're getting that male you're also getting four superstars WrestleMania 33 to monster So let's say you are SummerSlam 17 on the verge of beast or beast on the verge of monster um, A couple of those four superstars maybe could help you out you could get a beast you could get a monster so you that it's not a huge thing to take into consideration, but it could be okay. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about it, guys. It's a big pack in the store. Um, people shouldn't be rushing to buy it, um, you know, depending on, on where you're at. So we'll do this pattern pack, and then I'll talk to you guys about why I think there's going to be a new tier out. This was a very hard battleground. Um, 14,200 to 13,200. Got the win, um, which is pretty awesome. It's been a while since we've lost battleground, so none of us in the team wanted to lose this. Um, and actually, a lot of us in the team, well, a lot of us, I haven't opened my pack yet, so I don't know, but a lot of my team members got 34s, at least four or five of them, I believe, so that's some really good odds. Uh, just based on those odds, I don't think I'm going to get one, but we'll see in three, two, one. No, okay. Let's just get some catalogue then, please. Asuka, I believe, is actually catalogue. Uh, Daniel Bryan wasn't, I don't believe. We're almost at 120,000 mile points. Hopefully this Titan is catalogue. It's Cesaro. Don't think he is catalog. Let's go have a quick check. I'm uh, very confident Asuka's a pro. Um, of course, I could be wrong. I, oh, Cesaro was as well. Give me a hell yeah, guys. Let's go. I oh, know he wasn't. He wasn't locked. So I must have. Uh, yeah, Cesaro is not catalog. He was just a Titan I already had recently and haven't had locked him. Uh, Asuka. I am right though. That's Monster Charlotte. Uh, last platinum pack, and it's now uh, Monster Asuka. This one. So getting a couple of those. Uh, Monster females because if we do go into our monster females, you'll see that a lot of the ones I still have to do are females banks Natalia Fox Bailey uh, Pete Dunn is done actually. Yeah, Pete Dunn's done <laughs> uh, I believe rich one's the only one left. I got two Pete Dunn. That's why this one's still locked um, Mickey James And that's it. So yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close. We still need Carmella and Cesaro, they're the only two monsters I've never gotten before but anyway uh, that said let's talk real quick about I, I won't Go on too long because my food's in the oven and it's probably ready. Um, the new tier, I think, because of the fact that we've had TRTG, uh, Sasha Banks, um, they released the fusions very quickly, and now they're, they've announced a flash ring domination to start 
on Sunday, I believe, that will run through until Tuesday, which is what we've been having recently, you know, for the last couple of months sometimes when there's something new coming out to the game, they'll bring out this flash. Um, it will be at the same time as a team event as well. So that is a lot of evidence to, to claim that if not a new tier, a new event, a new game mode, a new something. Something's coming out to the game very soon. They're not randomly doing a flash RD for no reason. So, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Supercard might just get interesting again. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll be back with some RTG gameplay. Hey, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to the episode of WWE Supercard. And as I said, we are back to finish off the uh, normal, I was going to say heroic, the normal... Uh, Pete done. I want to do one point so I'm not off track in um, in the next one. I don't want to be like one point in or like six in because OCD will go a little bit mental on that. Currently live streaming on Twitch, guys. Uh, have been for the last five hours. Excuse me. Um, we started at the end of Sheamus, uh, finished off, well, got mostly done on Pete Dunne, then played a bit of Fortnite. So, uh, now we're, did I just say Nijax? I did say Nijax, yeah, okay, that's that's why it's really awesome having a chat. <laughs> um, obviously I'm MP done, I've still got Naya in, uh, in in the head for some reason. Um, but yeah, obviously she was the last event card. Uh, I don't count Batista as an event card, it was an LMS card. Um, so let's get this done. Um, it was harder than I thought, the plus 10s towards the end. I was definitely losing a couple, that's still because... One, I still have two Titan females in. Hopefully when I get Carmella, that will help out a bit. Uh, and two, um, most of my regular 34 Pros are low tiers. Um, so, yeah, Miz helped out in there. We got Samoa Joe recently as well. That I think they helped out. Um, I'm also going to get Kevin Owens. I'm not sure where Sheamus ranks, but actually I can go check this out now. Uh, Sheamus is as good as Rusev and Matt Hardy and, like, Gajinder Mahal. So, uh... Better than like the Elias's, the Shane's, the Shelton's. So he'll get in my deck, Seamus. I will perfect pro him actually. Um, something I wasn't sure if I was going to do or not. So Seamus actually will get into my deck. You talk so much faster in the videos. <laughs> do I? I think I talk. I think I talk just as fast when I'm starting a stream. Um, until we get a lot. Of, until we get people in Discord and the stream is you know 40 minutes an hour um, onwards, then it's more casual, more chill. The often the beginning of the stream is just I would say the same tempo as a video, but yeah, I see what you mean. I do go at a higher tempo for the videos. You guys watching the videos might know this if you've also watched the streams. Same as people watching the stream if you watch the videos. Um, just because I need to keep you guys entertained. Um, my uh, my average view account recently on YouTube is plummeting. So let's try and uh, I want to try and bring you guys some good content. Um, I don't know what that will, what, I'll, I'll have to try and do some more entertaining stuff, maybe start streaming a little bit on YouTube, who knows, as I'm not even partnered on Twitch yet, I can still do that, or um, we can do, we can do some other things maybe, we can maybe start doing some other games, or, or just start clickbait, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I'm kidding, I'm kidding guys, I'm kidding. Alright, 9 to, what was it, 4? 9 to 9 for something, it doesn't matter. We got Pete done. I didn't say Nia Jax that time. I'm going to take a quick screenshot of that. Uh, done, done. Get it, get it, play on words. He's done. Uh, let's see if we can get a pull. I'm not sure if I told you guys in the first part of this video. You guys know how terrible my memory is. But I have gotten a pull since the big show that you guys can see on the screen. And I don't even, I don't even think it's like a priority to update it because it was just as bad as Pig Show. Uh, it was Mark Henry, um, terrible. It was a fourth, uh, not, not something I wanted to see come up on my pool. Uh, really wanted a female, so I'm just gonna maybe ignore that I even pulled Mark Henry. But that's it, guys. That's it done for today. Um, Road to Glory. The normal road to glory is over. I'll quickly show you guys what we've got in the heroic. Um, so we've got a Naya, so repeated card right there, interesting. Uh, Naya Jax, Hideo Itami, Finn Balor, Neville, No Way, Jose, Garan Metalik, Shinsuke Nakamura, Nikki Cross. Let's go. If my mind, I hadn't made my mind up whether I wanted to try and go for heroic or not. I think I will, I will go for Nikki Cross, and of course the rest of Mini 34 that I know already what it is. Didn't know that the Titan was Nikki Cross there. That is catalog. It's a brand new card. I've never gotten Titan Nikki Cross before. So I really want to make sure I get that. And of course, 
the rated R superstar is the WrestleMania 34 Edge, and then of course we've got the heroic, you know, the the boost card there. So those are the cards in the heroic. The ones I really really want is Nikki Cross and Edge. Edge is a pro. Uh, Nikki Cross catalog first time getting this Nikki Cross it'll be and I believe that's the only Titan female I still need with Becky Lynch um, so that's a tick off uh, off the catalog guys thank you so much for watching this video drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe from you around here and uh, yeah make sure you hit the notification bell I'll see you guys all very soon for another video so then take care and peace out all right guys welcome back to the final part of today's episode we've got one more game of ring of road to glory to play with about 21 minutes left in the event before flash ring domination comes out of course flash ring domination means hopefully something is going to be coming up in the works very soon in the game um i've been doing this all day of course if you guys watched the stream yesterday you'll see that i had uh, a bit of a a bit of a a grind to do today and we managed to do it I played pretty much all day today streamed for about four or five hours and uh, yeah literally spent my whole entire day playing Supercard um, so at least at least I've done it at least I can say that I've still got every heroic card since heroics come out I'm happy with this result um, I had to I had to sacrifice the day but I didn't really have anything planned so of course uh, uh, I could have. I, I I had the opportunity to at least. So uh, yeah, I'm all. I'm currently playing Uno. So if you see me on this, looking at this monitor, it's because I got a couple of people I'm playing Uno with, and I don't want to make them wait on my turn. I've just been playing a little bit of Uno with uh, with Captain Wiley, uh, Fred, and Edward um, while uh, while I was just grinding this stuff out because this is boring. Road to Glory for this long is it's painful. It, it definitely is painful. Um, so, you know, distra distractions help. Uh, makes me play a little bit slower, but, you know, I th I knew I was going to get there in the end. Definitely close. Definitely um, the closest I've ever left it to. 40 minutes, I believe, is, uh, is definitely the closest I've ever left it to. Um, but, yeah, worst case scenario, I wasn't going to get the boost beat done. And, of course, the, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered that much just because I believe there will be a new tier coming out soon. And apparently Pete Dunne isn't the best event card so far because he's very balanced in the tier. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go and play our two LMS perfect tag there. I won't uh, keep this video dragging on once I've uh, finished. Um, I will try and uh, just once I've uh, finished the card, we'll end the video there because it will be long enough already. And, uh, and I'm so sick of this game. I just want to get away from it for the time being. It's been, uh, it's been painful to say the least. And there we go, guys. Six points, 290 on the heroic upgrade. Pete Dunn is a heroic upgrade card, event card. Six picks on the board. Imagine if we could get a pull. That'd be a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing to, to get right now. Nope, of course not. That'd be that'd be too perfect. But that's where we're going to leave it, guys. 290. It's done. It's completed. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. In 18 short minutes. I've got Ring Domination to play. Um, what a break it's been between Road to Glory and Ring Dom, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Please drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Um, for all the grinding I've, I've done in the last two days, um, I'd really appreciate it. Guys, I'll catch you very soon. Till then, take care. Peace out.